Hansman swing down. And Marie received a 9-8-5 on her beam routine. And in this rotation, LSU competing on vault, and this is sophomore Nikki Butler. One of LSU's most improved events this year. They've increased their difficulty, and they've really done a good job on their stuck landings. And again, Nikki nailing that landing. We've talked about it all year long, the importance of sticking the landings. The judges have been a lot tougher on those steps, not taking the half tenth deductions, but taking full tenth deductions. No deduction on Nikki's landing. And a 9.85 for Nikki, and every little deduction will count as tight as this competition is going to be. Well, still to come, we've got two of the best athletes in the country, April Burkholder and Ashley Miles, up next. Rotation one underway here at the arena at Gwinnett Center, the SEC Gymnastics Championships on the floor for Georgia, sophomore Ashley Kupetz. Georgia has to be feeling very good about their score so far. Ashley opening with a double pike. You can see she's landing on a inch mat right there. That is allowed. She has been dealing with some Achilles problems, some pain in her Achilles. They don't want to risk any type of injury. She's also been dealing with a back injury this year. Despite that, she's really had a fantastic year. She's extremely fit and is showing in her tumbling. Ashley, much like the rest of this Georgia team, having to overcome some adversity this season. They're so young. They had that four meet losing streak in the middle of the season, but boy, have they rebounded from that and are looking the best they've looked all season right now. What was truly amazing is even through that four meet losing streak, they stayed so positive. They kept looking at where did we improve and where can we continue to improve? And if you haven't seen them compete in the last several weeks, then you really haven't seen this Georgia team at their best. They are really peaking right now. Final pass. Another big difficult tumbling pass. Double back. Excellent job. Big smiles. She is so intense when you see her on that competition floor. But when she steps out onto the floor, she really starts to perform. She comes out of her shell. It's, it's quite interesting to watch. Yes, a definite limp there. You can see her limping. That Achilles tendon is hurting. And yet Ashley in the all-around tonight, so fighting through those injuries, picks up the 9.875 there for Georgia and looking to contribute in all of the final three events. Well, April Burkholder is one of the favorites in this all-around competition tonight. She starts out on vault. An amazing event for her, the Yurchenko layout full, the same vault we saw Nikki Butler, her teammate, do previously. It is scored out of a 10, but she does take that small hop. The judges will have to take a one-tenth deduction there. Other than that, look at her body position. Legs glued together, beautiful stretch, good height and distance. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see why she received a 10 in that event earlier this year. Tonight, a 9-9 for April. And now on floor for Georgia, an athlete who has really come on so strong for this team, freshman Katie Heenan. Georgia has five pretty good scores. Their first athlete stepped out of bounds, so right now they have a 9-7. They need to build on that. Katie needs a higher score than that so that they can drop that sixth score. And as we've mentioned, every little deduction, mistake like that, it'll count. It will add up in this meet. With this competition, you can't afford to count those. Middle pass, solid landing on a double pike. Showing off her great personality and a very difficult turn right there. A double turn with leg above horizontal. She's showing off some of those elite skills. This freshman group at Georgia really have brought a lot to this team with their personality. It's really amazing to see a freshman come out first year and really be able to perform like this in front of huge crowds under pressure. Very interesting leap combination right at the end. What a great routine. First tumbling pass, a forward, very difficult front double twist to a punch front. She missed this tumbling pass at their dual meet against LSU. Not a problem here. They're making corrections and they're coming out strong. Well, we saw April Burkholder finish with a 9-9 for LSU. 
And now we see Katie Heenan finish things up for Georgia in this rotation with a 9-9. Very strong performances by both of those teams so far. Well, Ashley Miles for Alabama competing on the balance beam. Lori, we can say this without any doubt. If she's going to be in this all-around competition, it will come down to this event. She added this event this year to complete herself as an all-around gymnast, and it, but it still is her weakness. She needs more numbers in competition. But if she can stay on, she can outscore anyone in this competition on the other three events, and she will be your all-around champion. The arena has quieted down a little bit. Allowing her to focus. We've already seen some great difficulty from her so far. Here comes her tumble series. Gain her back handspring, layout, and she's solid. And Alabama not only needs Ashley to stay on the beam here, they really need a high score, Lori. If we just look back a little bit, Georgia has not had to count anything below a 9-8. They, they were able to drop that 9-7, so a 9-8-5, actually the lowest score they'll have to count, whereas Alabama already has a couple 9-7s mixed in there. Floor is an easier event to outscore a team on balance beam. But you're right, they really do need a solid performance here from Ashley. They can boost their scoring potential here, and she has a big dismount plan. It's an E-level skill, two tenths of bonus, a double back. Oh! She over-rotates her dismount, an automatic five-tenth deduction there. A big miss for this Alabama team and for Ashley. That will most definitely put her out of the all-around contention. Very disappointing score for Ashley Miles. As we said, this event is what it would come down to. The fall does take her out of it, 9.275, but we've got a lot more to come, including an Olympic silver medalist. Stick around. Taryn Humphrey, a member of Alabama's gymnastics team this year. Look close, you see those Olympic rings on her back left shoulder. That's because Taryn had quite a summer before she came to Alabama. She spent some time in Athens, Greece. Even at first glance, it's obvious there's something special about this Alabama freshman. But truth be told, this probably isn't your first glance of Taryn Humphrey. Taryn was a member of the United States gymnastics team that won a silver medal in the 2004 Olympic Games. She also won an individual silver in Athens on bars. She comes in with great expectations, knowing that she can have a great career here, but that she's going to be surrounded by a great family environment, teammates who support her and want her to be at her best. The Olympics was a team, but it wasn't as tight as this team is. Uh, we all get along great, and it's like the closest team that I've ever been on. And just to have your team behind you all the way, it's just an amazing feeling. Though Taryn obviously came into the Crimson Tide program with a lot of fanfare, her attitude, for lack thereof, immediately endeared her to her teammates. She's been received very well. I mean, who, what school wouldn't want an Olympian on their team, you know? And I've known Taryn previously, and um, I mean, she's just an awesome, awesome kid. We don't treat her any differently, and I mean, I don't think she expects to just you know, because she went to the Olympics, I think she wants to be just a part of our team. You would never know that she is a two-time Olympic silver medalist. And I think the biggest telling factor is when we took her back to the airport, she checked the, the silver medals in her luggage and she carried her picture of Brad Pitt uh, with her on the plane. So I, th I think that shows how humble she is. You know, the medals are great and wonderful, but, you know, she's just all about being a part of this team and, uh, and starting to have some fun again and, and being a college student. It's been going great. I love it here so much, and it's, every meet is just a blast, and the crowd and the fans are so amazing and, you know, enthusiastic, so it's just great to go out there and compete. While Taryn is enjoying performing her routines, it can be just as much fun watching her, especially when she does her own patented move, the Humphrey. Oh, yeah, that's so cool. When she first came in and did it, we are, I mean, it's so funny. Sometimes, like, the whole gym will kind of stop and we're watching her, you know, because she's doing such crazy, amazing stuff, you know, and it's so good. 
most gymnasts can't do a triple turn on the floor exercise without bobbling. More or less do it uh, on the balance beam, you know, four feet off the ground, four inches wide, and complete three or three and a half turns. Um, it, it's quite incredible. So far, Taryn has just competed on bars and beam for the tide, but vault and floor may not be far behind. It's just going to take her time to get competitively ready on those couple of events. And we want to make sure that when we put her out there, she's ready, she's secure, and, and she'll have success. Because I, I think, you know, the sport owes that to her. And uh, it's what I promised her when she came here to Alabama.